Hi everyone! In this video tutorial, I am going to demo a short project. We are going to go through the steps of how to create an animal whistle out of clay. This is what the final product should look like at the end of the demo. In order for a successful end result, your piece should 1. resemble an animal and 2. also work as a functional whistle. For this demo, you will need clay, a wire cutting tool, slip, a fork, two butter knives or two popsicle sticks, needle tools, a wooden blending tool, and a clay knife. We will begin this tutorial by cutting off a chunk of clay. First, take your wire cutting tool by the wooden ends. Wrap the wire around both hands by moving your hands in a pedaling motion. The wire will slice right through the clay like a knife. Take off a chunk of clay the size of your fist. Next, you will take this chunk of clay and transform it into a ball by either rolling it in between the palms of your hands or between one palm and the table. Once you have a nice round ball of clay, put your thumbs together and plunge them into the ball. This should create a small pit in the middle of your clay ball. Now, begin to pinch your thumbs and the rest of your fingers together to thin out the walls of the pinch pot. Pinch around the pot so that the clay is evenly distributed. At the end of this step, you should have an even little clay bowl. Step in this demonstration is creating a slab to cover the opening of the pinch pot, much like a lid. We will repeat our first step and cut off another chunk of clay. To make a thin, flat slab, we can either use a rolling pin to flatten this chunk, or in this demo, I will be showing you how to throw one. To throw a slab, first slam your chunk into the table a few times, flipping it upside down each time. Then begin to throw your chunk down at a 45 degree angle towards yourself, like I'm doing in this video. Rotate the slab 90 degrees with, with each throw. Continue this last step until you get a sheet of clay around half an inch thick. Now, take the pinch pot and place it open side down in the middle of the slab you have just thrown. Take your knife tool to the slab and cut about a centimeter around the perimeter of the pinch pot. Remove the excess clay surrounding where you have just cut, leaving your pinch pot and a circular slab piece on the table. Remove the pinch pot from the slab for now. Taking your fork, we are going to score the edges of the circular slab as well as the lip of the pinch pot. To score a pot or piece of clay means to scratch hatch marks on it as part of joining clay pieces together. This is done before brushing on the slip and joining the pieces together. This process is often called score and slip. Attach the two pieces by pressing them firmly together down on the table. Then, blend the excess slab upwards onto the pinch pot with either your fingers or a wooden blending tool, making the transition between slab and pinch pot seamless. Thank you. 
Next in the sequence is to create the mouthpiece of the whistle. To do this, we will rip off a small piece of clay from the leftover slab and mold it into a rectangular prism. Roll up the clay into a cylinder the width of your finger and half the length of your thumb. Lightly press the clay into the table, rotating at 90 degrees until you have created four flat sides. We are going to proceed to score the end of the mouthpiece in order to attach it to our pinch pot slab figure. About a centimeter above the slab seam, we are going to score the pinch pot as well. Here I am attaching slip to both the score marks on the pinch pot as well as the mouthpiece to attach them securely. I will be pressing them firmly into each other to create a strong bond. To further secure this attachment, we will take our wooden blending tool, or our fingers, and blend the mouthpiece into the pinch pot. Next, parallel to the flat slab and in the middle of the mouthpiece, you are going to insert a popsicle stick, or in my case, a butter knife, to create the mouthpiece opening. Insert the popsicle stick, or butter knife, far enough so that the mouthpiece is now a tunnel into the pinch pot. Leave the popsicle stick, or butter knife, in the clay. Holding the clay slab side up, lay an additional popsicle stick, or butter knife, directly over top the one already inserted. Using a needle tool, mark the sides of the popsicle stick just a centimeter from the seam. This is where the hole will go for air to escape and a whistle note to be made. Remove the top popsicle stick or butter knife. Taking a needle tool or other sharp clay cutting instrument, create a hole punch size hole where you have previously marked. Cut straight down until you hit the popsicle stick or butter knife that's already inside your clay. Next, we are going to bevel the edge of the hole. To bevel something means to change a square edge on an object to a sloping one. So, instead of the hole plunging straight down, carve away some of the clay to create a sharp inward slope. Once you have beveled the hole, pull the popsicle stick or butter knife out of the airway. Clean any small bits of clay that block the airways. Gently blow into the mouthpiece of your whistle to see if it makes a sound. No sound? Here are some troubleshooting tips. 1. Insert the popsicle stick into the mouthpiece again to clear any clay that might be blocking the airways. 2. Remember, the stick needs to go straight back into the whistle. 3. You might need to make the bevel sharper. Try these tips if you are stuck. From this point on, it's up to you and your creative mind to turn this whistle into any animal you would like. Think about incorporating the roundness of the pinch pot or the protrusion of the mouthpiece into your animal. Could the pinch pot be a belly? A shell? What about the mouthpiece? Could it be a tail? An arm? A head? It's up to you. Here is a time lapse of me creating my turtle whistle. I used the needle tool, wooden blending tool, additional clay, and slip to create it. Let your imagination run free with this project and have fun!